Hello everyone. Let's discuss the sixth problem of uh, code forces round 954 division 3 which is non-academic problem. So we are given a connected unrelated graph the vertices of which are numbered uh, with integers 1 to n. Uh, your task is to minimize the number of pairs uh, between which there exists a path in the graph. To achieve this you can remove exactly one edge from the graph. Find the smallest number of pair of vertices. So uh, for that let's take the first example. Here there are only one edge, one comma two. Uh, they are connected. Okay, so we can remove uh, exactly one. I think we can remove exactly one. Uh, you can remove exactly one edge from the graph. So there is only one edge present. So we can remove this. After that, uh, we have to minimize. Uh, we have to minimize uh, uh, the number of pairs between which there exists a path in the graph. So uh, here uh, from 1 there is only one um, there is no node so which has a uh, path from 1 so the answer will be here answer here will be 0 I think answer here is 0 right so let's take the next example it's a 1 2 2 3 and 1 3 so 1 2 2 3 and 1 3 so this is a cycle here so if we re uh, remove any of the edge we remove this edge this edge or this edge any one edge in the other uh, then the three nodes will obviously be connected because this will form a tree then the nodes will be connected so that uh, after removing any of the edge the total number of connected nodes are nothing but uh, 3 into n into n minus 1 by 2 so 3 into 2 by 2 will be 3 so the answer here will be 3 now let's jump on to the next uh, example uh, the next example here let's say this example the, the fourth best case let's say we remove this edge if we remove this edge, then the total number of nodes, uh, uh, this they, this will make two components, right? The first component will be like this, and the second component will be like this. Okay, so total number of uh, total number of nodes uh, in this uh, component will be three into two by two three, and total number of nodes in this component will be three into two by two three. So the answer will be three plus three six here. Okay, because uh, we can't reach uh, from any node of this component to other node of the other component okay so the answer will be 6 here okay now let's take the, the last second example to understand it better uh, mm, what is the second example 1 2 this uh, let's create this 1 2 then uh, 1 2 3 1 2 3 3 2 uh, 3 2 4 4 2 5 5 2 3 3 2 4 4 2 5 and 5 2 3 this is one uh, graph now let's say we remove this edge if we remove this edge then uh, we are creating two components right two, creating two components in the first component there are four uh, nodes so total number of nodes uh, reachable from one another will be 4 into 3 by 2 will be 6 and total number of nodes reachable from this component uh, pairs total number of pairs in this component will be 0 so the answer will be 0 here now let's say instead of removing this edge let's say we are removing this edge then the total number of nodes in this pair are 2 so the total pair here will be 1 and the total pair here will be 3 into 2 by uh, 2 which is 3. So the answer here will be 1 plus 3, 4. So this is the minimum one. So we have to select, we have to remove this edge. Okay. So the answer here will be 4. Okay. If we remove any other edge, then uh, the graph is not becoming uh, disconnected. So I hope you get the examples. Now let's jump into some uh, ideas or observations. So the first idea for this type of problem is that we, when we are removing some edge and the node is still connected. If we are removing some edge and the node is still connected, then the answer, the number of pairs is nothing but n into n minus 1 by 2. So, the edges which are not disconnecting the uh, graph will not help us. So, only the nodes which are disconnecting the graph will help us. So, the nodes which are disconnecting the graphs will be called bridges. So we have to find the number of bridges in the graph. So in this graph there are two bridges. Uh, this one 1 to 2 and 1 to 3. Okay. Uh, after we find the bridge, let's say we have found the first bridge. After that we will find the number of nodes in the other component. Let's say the number of nodes in this component let's say is P then the number of nodes in the other component will be nothing but n minus p. So, we will find uh, n minus p c2 and p c2 and if we add this, 
n minus p c 2 plus p c 2 will be our one of the answer candidate. This will be one of our answer candidate and we will find all the bridges. We will find all the bridges and we will try to find, uh, uh, try to minimize this value. Okay. Now, find for finding the bridge, this is quite straightforward algorithm. Uh, I will provide the link of the uh, CP algorithms blog in the description box. Still, I will explain the algorithm a, a bit. But uh, after we find the bridge, after we find the bridge, uh, we will check the number of nodes in the other component and the number of nodes in the current component and we will find, uh, calculate this formula. Sum, uh, we will find the sum of this formula and answer will be minimum of answer comma this one. Okay. Now, how to find the bridge in a graph? How to find bridge in a graph? So, for finding bridge in a graph, the algorithm is like this. Let's say uh, this is this is one graph. Okay. So we'll do some kind of we'll try to build some kind of DFS tree. So uh, when we are uh, at some vertex, we'll we'll create two arrays. One is visited, uh, one is one is visited, another another one is low. Okay. So when we are visiting one vertex, we'll mark visited of this one by some timer. So we are visiting the first node at first point uh, first time. And uh, we are visiting the first node at first time. So, visited of 1 will be 1. Visited of 1 will be, let's say this is node. Visited of 1 will be 1. And low of 1 will be 1. Now, we are jumping this node. So, now, visited of uh, the 2 node will be 2. And low of this node will be 2. And we are going to the third node now. We are going to the third node. The timer value will increase. The uh, visited of this node is 3. And low of this node is 3. Okay. Now we are going from 3 to 4. Now the visited of 4 will be 4 and visited of uh, low of 4 will be 4. Now we will go to 5 from here. We will go to 5 from here. So the visited of 5 will be 5 and low of 5 will be 5. Okay. Right. And now we will backtrack to 4. Now there is only one edge remaining. This is a back edge. So we are trying to go from 4 to 2. Now when we are going from 4 to 2, we will see that this node, the second node is already visited. That second node is already visited. So we will update our uh, low value of 4 by the visited value of this 2 node, second node. So we will update the low value of 4 by visited value of the 2 node. So low of 4 will be updated by 2. Now we will backtrack to 3. We will backtrack to 3. Now after backtracking to 3, we will update the value of the low 3 by low of 4 will update the value of low 3 with low of 4 so will be updated to 2 now uh, 2 has already low value 2 so this will not help us now who, which ones are bridges which edges uh, are the bridges how we can find that now after the, we are we have built this let's say uh, there is some age from uh, 1 to 2 how we can check that one the age 1 to 2 is a uh, bridge or not 1 to 2 is a bridge if the low of 2 if the low of 2 is greater than the visited of 1 if the low of low of j is greater than the visited of i that means that this node is not connected to anything uh, which is uh, this node or something previously visited than this node so we can say that this age is a bridge so this is a this is a bridge now similarly, we will try to go check for 2 to 3. We will try to check for 2 to 3. Is this a bridge? Now, uh, low of 2. Low of 2 is not greater than visited of 2. So this is not a bridge. Similarly, low of 3. Low of, uh, sorry, low of 4 is not greater than. Low of 4 is not greater than visited of 3. So this is also not a bridge. This is also not a bridge. But uh, low of 5 is greater than visited of 4, right? Low of 5 is greater than visited of 5. Uh, so, we can say, sorry, low of 5 is greater than visited of 4. So, we can say this is a bridge. So, we have found two bridges. Okay. Now, let's jump into the code. I think you will understand this algorithm, how to find the bridges in the graph. I will provide the article link in the description box. You can check that out too. Now, uh, let's uh, jump to the code. Here, uh, this is the DFS part. What the DFS is returning? So, when we are doing some DFS of i, we are doing some DFS of i, i is returning all the nodes uh, in the in the DFS subtree of this node. So, uh, let us build this graph uh, clearly. 
so let's say this is like this 2 to 3 3 to 4 4 to 2 and 4 to 5 so uh, the the dfs of 5 will return 1 because there is only one node present here so dfs of 5 will return 1 dfs of 4 will return 2 because there are two nodes only here 4 and 5 2 is already visited earlier so will not uh, this will not be part of the dfs of 4 so we'll return 2 from here so dfs of 3 will be 3 because there are three nodes present here and dfs of 2 is 4 and dfs of 1 is 5 like that so when we found one bridge okay how we are finding one bridge we are doing low of i and visit, visitor of i as timer okay timer and we are incrementing the value of timer in the same operation now if uh, if j is not the parent node if j is not the parent node if the jth node is visited then this is a back edge right this is a back edge so we're marking low i as minimum of low i comma visited of j this uh, this code uh, this edge will be for this type of edge 4 to 2 back edge and otherwise we are doing count as dfs of j comma i okay now we are checking if the low value of j if it is greater than visited of i this means that j i comma j uh, edge is a bridge i comma j is a bridge then the total number of nodes uh, in the subtree of j total number of nodes in the subtree of j let's say is count and the total number of uh, nodes other than this uh, this is a, this one this this will be one component the other uh, the other components will contain n minus count number of nodes n minus c number of nodes so we will find n minus c c2 plus c c2 okay so this 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 is n c2 this is the formula of n c2 so we are doing count c2 and n minus count c2 and otherwise uh, if the low low j value will, is less than digit of i we are doing low of i is minimum of low of i comma low of j and we are adding the number of uh, number of uh, nodes in the subtree of j as c plus equals to count and at, at the end we are returning c uh, this part is for initialization and we are setting the timer value as 1 and we are doing uh, we are setting answer as n into n minus 1 by 2 when when will this be needed this will be needed in uh, such cases uh, when there is a cycle when there is a cycle then there will be no bridge then the answer will be in situ uh, and we are doing dfs of 1 and printing the answer if you have any doubt in any part of the code or explanation you can always ask in the comment section if you find the video helpful please like the video and subscribe to my channel and also share among your peers thank you